Okay, so set up two examples here, lads. The first one on the left-hand side, if you can look up, is where you're given the major axis of your ellipse and you're given point P. You have to find your minor, obviously, to be able to draw the, the actual ellipse itself. But the other case on the right-hand side is just the exact opposite. You're given the minor and point P and you find the major. So we're going to go through both of those. Now, this comes up a good bit at higher level. Almost all the time, actually, if you're given an ellipse question, you're missing one of the axes. So the first thing you should do, just out of habit, is actually sketch out at the side of your sheet how do I draw an ellipse if I have all the information that I need. So basically what you need is you need your two axes. Now if you have your two axes, you draw your central lines, you put in your small circle, your minor circle, you put in your major circle. And then what you do is you do a series of, of uh, you split it up into sections using your 30 degree set square. So if we just do one of those, for example, you go from your center point out, and it hits both of your circles. Where it hits the major one, you drop it down. Where it hits the minor one, you drop it out. And where they cross over is a point on your curve. So we should all be familiar with that. We call that point P. Now point P, if we retract there, was found by coming downwards from the major and coming out from the minor. If we're given the major axis and we have point P, and we reference back to this, point P, the relationship between point P and the major axis is a straight line going up, isn't it? Right. So we draw a straight line going up. And then what we see is that where that hits the major circle is joined back to my center point. So we do that as well. Now the relationship between that line and point P, as we can see, is a horizontal line. And where they cut is the minor circle. So we bring a horizontal line straight across, and that's going to give us the radius of our minor circle. Okay, so we all happy with that now? Yeah? Okay. The next one should be kind of easy enough, considering we know how to do this, and we'll do it anyway. So this time we're looking at point P, and we're looking at the minor circle. Now, in the previous example, what we did was we brought a line straight up, but we can't do that because we don't have anywhere to stop it. So this time we're going to bring it across first. We're going to draw a horizontal line. It's going to cut the minor circle, and we join that through the center point. Then what we find is we bring a line straight up from point P, it will cut, and that will give us our major circle. Okay, so both of those different examples now, we will be able to draw our ellipse after finding our second axis in both of them. 